Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. How are you all doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. And in today's video, I decided I will to um, finish off this um, elephant in the bottle. Um, this page I did as a live stream real time coloring, um, and it seen already a couple weeks uh, I'm pretty sure I said it a couple weeks ago um, is quite a long time now and uh, due to my health and you know uh, like today um, Saturday I supposed to do a live stream but the internet wasn't um, very stable so it's not really a good condition to do live stream today so i decided i will just gonna record this and make it like a normal video for you guys and um we will finish this little elephant today i will show you how i did the background in the bottles and also how you can do a clear bottle but it's still with colors and you know not not just leave it um, white and we can do a uh, little background as well so um, I hope you don't mind and uh, as you can see now I start off with the Prussian green the Prismacolor uh, I will use Prismacolor for the whole picture as I promise and um, in the next video I will use uh, polychromo and so um, I decided I, I would um, just you know I, I, I've been on this picture for a while and I didn't really have in mind that uh, what sort of background that I'm gonna do for uh, inside the bottles and uh, I decided I'm gonna do like a glowy green background with like um, like a glowy light uh, that's sort of look like five light um, and um, I start off with the brush and green and I just do like a quite medium pressures light down uh, sorry it's a little bit hard to see because this pencil is quite short now and it's a little bit harder for me to grab um, <laughs> far like you know um, I tend to grab it really close to the tip of the pencil if um, the pencil is nearly is very short so yeah um, so you just put a layer of the brush and green down leave a few um, just circle uh, along the way uh, little circle many circles that depends on you if you like uh, what you like and uh, I go back in with the lamp hues um, the 1005 and I just blend out that brush and green uh, for some because um, this week I didn't really like colors or anything um, I having a bad week um, so sorry so much for not putting out as many as video and I promise that um, I will put out more video once I got a little bit better but you know um, uh, thank you so much for your understanding and sticking with uh, my channels and your support so um, yeah I just use this lamp and just blending just a normal blending with uh, Prismacolor um, I didn't colors a lot this week as I say so uh, for some reason um, when I colors in this page today it's really really sore my hand um, I guess because um, it wasn't my hand my finger wasn't active this week so it was a little bit hot um, so I as you can see I keep like stopping every second just to you know um, let my hand rest a little bit because I feel like it's gonna cramp <laughs> but yeah that's what I do uh, with Prismacolor obviously you can burnishing it down so um, you can just use the normal technique the burnishing pencil um, and 
I'll just going with the these two color um, actually you can use this color for any other background it's, it's a great combination uh, I really really love these combinations of colors um, I'm sure I use this combination for the other page the like a little fish bone page in this uh, magical jungle as well oh the page I'm coloring in is from the magical jungle by John Hannah Best first um, uh, I think a lot of <laughs> I got a lot of uh, message uh, in common ask me uh, where this page come from yes it's from the magical jungle uh, don't worry I will leave the link down in the description box um, all the pencil I use uh, all the supplies and you know the books and stuff uh, and where you can get them yeah so now I go in with the Cha uh, thank you so much for uh, who's that teach me I think Lovella um, thank you so much for showing me how to pronounce this uh, pencil um, sometimes um, I got the pencil name wrong um, uh, please don't mind me uh, my English wasn't too bad so I'm pretty sure I can um, you know, improve in the next few years so um, now I'm going with the deco yellow and I'll just blend that uh, shall she shall choose out um, is is this a really really nice uh, combinations of color is is make is good uh, when you do a jungle team or like a forest team is really really green but it's also you know not like a sad green it's, it's a very very um, peaceful green now like how I describe and when I look at it, it makes me feel really this peaceful in my heart. And now I go in with the dark green. I just want to darken up a little bit. Just, you know, around the elephants and, you know, at the the bottom. Um, because I want to just bring out. Because, you know, I, we have a lot of green leaves and stuff around. So I just want to make sure that I, I put in enough shadow and contrast just to you know make all the grass and leaves uh, stand out from the background because i don't want it to blend in too much with the background and yes yeah, so, uh, if you love the combinations uh, do on something else to the background or even i think this combination of colors do really really well on leaves as well um or grass color it must it, will look really really nice so yeah and um, other part of these colors along I done as a live stream and so you can go have a look uh, we have a lot of chatting and you know talking about things in the live stream so um, but I do link all the colors uh, what colors I use for you know everything in the description box uh, so you can just go in and I link it with the tam when I set the color so you can just you know find the tams and um, with the color pencils and you know color with me if you don't want to you know uh, joining in the chat yeah so um, I hope you will enjoy this one and I will go back very very soon with another background I'm learning to do a bubble uh, the multicolor bubbles um, background for a jellyfish page I'm not really sure which jellyfish page that I'm gonna pick um, I think the Kirby Rosen one is look really really nice or I can pick one from I think it's Dacroma um, by Hannah Calzone or I can also use a jellyfish or um, I already done the jellyfish page in Lost Ocean already so um, we can do another you know mermaids or something like that in June Hannah Best first so let me know in the comment what book you want me to uh, do <laughs> and um, 
uh, a lot of people ask me you know uh, where I uh, like when I gonna do a bubble uh, tutorials and water droplet um, because this vi- I, I already done the video is I think it's called bubble and droplet <laughs> I'm pretty sure I think it's not get a lot of view because um, it's quite an an old video I wouldn't say very very old but uh, I done it when I first started in the YouTube channel and for some reason I was so excited for the project and I done it at night time so the lighting wasn't great um, but in the video I show you uh, six I think it's six different types of bubbles and water droplet that you can do for your backgrounds and you know just add in a little touch for your finished page and I've done it with polychromo and Prisma colors as well so you can find a substitute in the both polychromo and Prisma color so uh, please check out the video if you haven't um, because I think it's a really really useful video for a new uh, colorist and if uh, I was thinking um, I will slowly do a background using the technique for um, for each bubble but turn it into a uh, individual each individual video so I let you see how I apply those uh, bubbles and technique into my coloring and so now I actually go um, into you know how to create the the light and as you can see i use gel pen um this is i'm not really sure what brand of the gel pens is um i got it together with the set of gel pen i got from costco but you can find these are not uh, glittery gel pen they're just normal gel pen the neon one so you usually have the yellow one and the green one and that is what i use to create the, the little uh, five 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 light um, um, so you use a gel pen near yellow in the middle and then you put the gel pen the neon green outside and it's create a beautiful gradient when you look at it it look like it's shining and I don't know it just look really really nice and I'm um, really happy with uh, how this paint come out you know i try a lot of techniques and different um new way to um just different techniques and new things uh, in this page and i was absolutely happy with how uh, this you know how i how i do the glow glowing light and you can use this for absolutely anything I don't usually use a gel pen to color in the actual picture uh, I rather use them to you know adding details and create a special effect with them so yeah um, I don't think you need a special brand gel pen for this technique you can just use any other gel pen you have in in hand um, you can use uh, you know just go to the you know, bookshop so you know as supplies you just pick a cheap gel pen this is not really expensive and yeah I think the neon gel pen is really really useful I don't really like glitter that much um, I really use glitter in my coloring page uh, I did one glitter page um, in the uh, secret garden books um, that I just bought and I wasn't really happy with it it looked really um, funny because uh, I think I never used gel pen in my coloring so it looked kind of like chow lie looking um, I tried to fix it I don't know how I can fix it yet uh, but yeah it was fun to just use gel pen but um, I think it's a little bit hard to get dimensions and stuff with gel just gel pen so i rather use them just you know um, adding effect and um, i would just warn you a little bit be i think it'll be easier for you if you buy a better brand gel pen i think but because my gel pen brand is just a cheap gel pen so um, when i put it on top of the polychrome uh the prisma color because prisma color is 
um, really, really, really waxy pencil. So sometimes um, it makes it really hard for gel pen to go on top after you finishing. It's just because the wax build up when you, especially when you burnishing the pencil, um, it will make it quite hard to for the gel pen to lay on top. Um, yeah, so I keep have to wipe off, you know, just scratch the tip of the gel pens on on the paper, um, just to clean. Um, you can see like what I mean later. Uh, yeah, you can see now. I have to kind of change the gel pen because it's blocked my tip a little bit. Uh, but then later it's even worse. So uh, I will tell you a bit later um, about that. But yeah, other than that, is is a great, um, just a great simple effect for you to do glowing light. Um, it's nothing fancy. I'm not really like to spend that much time on a certain page. I like something um, rather quick, but really, really still effective. And yeah, um, now we're gonna actually go to the how to do the bottle and i'll start off with the non photo blue i don't really um say you know step by step in this um, picture you know because i want you to you know it, it's really easy you know like how you do the gradient background um i have told you in a lot of other videos how you can do uh blending gradient and stuff so it's 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 uh, just a basic techniques so i won't tell you oh after this i go in with this um i will show you when it's like i try a new technique and i will show you how to do it and um so now i go in with the electric blue which is a tad darker than the non-photo blue and i think the electric blue is going on creamier than the non photo blue for some reason the non photo blue every time i use it it has sort of like a scratchy feeling i'm not really sure why but yeah um so if you don't have the non photo blue you can absolutely just don't have to use it at all uh, you can just use the electric blue and do it quite light so i think you can pretty much do the can do the same with the non photo blue um yeah but in here i just use a non photo blue just you know just to blend it out because it's like a little bit lighter than the electric blue so you just do lots of blending um i'm still going with the medium pressures um at the first layer i go in quite light it's probably like a light pressures um and now I go in with the light aqua. You want to have a little green in it as well, but I choose a green that is more um, uh, on on a blue side than you know just a straight green, because you want to have a little variety of colors. Uh, even though I like to do it blue, because later I will do the background outside is a sky um so i like to do it blue i think blue bottle make it really really nice and beautiful and i think um in my case because i do a lot of greens and stuff i try to do not to use blue at all in the leaves and flower and everything else because i try to uh, save the blue for you know the bottle and that's why it will help the bottle stand out from you know the leaves and the flower and the elephant in the background and as you can see i'll go in with the true blue now so, um i just kind of blend in uh, make sure you don't blend in too much and just the from both sides but just the edge and now I'm going with the indigo blue. Um, the indigo blue is really, really important for the shading. I think it go really, really well in, you know, for the combinations and this technique that I'm using now. Um, and 
yeah, you just go very on the edge of both sides of the bottleneck and um, a little bit under uh, under the what is it called? The uh, I don't want to say that was because I think I'm gonna pronounce it wrong and it's gonna <laughs> uh, like mistake into other words. Uh, so it under the the wood thing that you know you block the bottle um, and yeah. Um, so now you just go back in with the non photo blue or as I say the electric blue if you want to. Uh, just to you know burnishing this this the indigo blue out and yeah and you bring this non photo blue down as well on both sides of the colors and now you can see I do um, some curl curl stripe uh, down in the middle of the bottle I do that because when you when you look in the bottle if the bottle clear is cast the the colors around it but there is some places it won't cast the color so in some place you think it look like it's white and clear but some area you think it look is half color and usually it's come in a stripe because you know how the bottle is curls is round right so obviously the the picture or the color is casting will bend and it will cause a little bit so yeah so I just go in at a few uh, curves in the middle and I go with the sky blue light just to you know burnishing these colors out blend it out uh, really really good just you know just hopefully try to blend um, in uh, with the green and then I use a gray green light just you know uh, because it's green still but it's on the like really really light size and it's help blending out a bit better and you got the true blue you just add in the size of the bottle it's very very simple project um pro project not project process you go dark to light from outside to inside so you try to keep the inside is a light and just more on the edge you add in the uh, the darker the darker tone of blue yeah so that's what you do and you just try to you know every time you blend the blue in with the green try to lift your pencil a little bit don't make it too you know too dark um, because blue and green do not really blend together and I go in the same on the other side as well. I just go in with the true blue, add it in, uh, just around the edges. And then I will go in with the lighter blue. In this case, is, uh, you can go non photo blue or you can go electric blue, whatever lighter blue you have. Um, we have a lot of variety and shade of blue in the Prisma color. These blue I already pick out um, myself I do a little bit of testing as uh, earlier I show you the, the bottle um, on my sketchbook and I already know that this blue will go well together is harmonized together because it's very close shade of blue together but um, just be careful if you have like a limited palette um, just pick out the blue that you think um, that's go well together and not not you like one is very warm blue and one is really cold blue um, that kind it will you know make it uh, not really pleasing to the eyes yeah and as you can see I, I kind of blend the blue into the the electric blue into the green but I do when I do that I go really really light-handed uh, just lift up your pencil and just sort of like do like a light stroke instead of like burnishing it and you will have a lot nicer effect that way and then you just add in a uh, the indigo blue um, very on the edge and it will make 
your eyes think that is the border is clear where it is like curls <laughs> it's just very interesting you know like how uh, we do certain effect and it will trick the eyes into think a certain way and um, you see like how the the outside um, I don't know the double line uh, John Hannah doing double line for this bottle uh, and so I just go with the electric blue uh, very light blue and I try not to go out all the way as you can see because I want to go in with the sky blue light now just blend that blues out you want to be to let the the double light outside um, cut as light as possible because you don't want it make it too dark that is a trick you leave it look like the the sun or the light you know make shine on it and it it looks shiny it looks clear and then you do the the border neck I will show you a very very easy way but it's will trick your eye think that the border is blue so now you go in with the electric blue at the start just like how you do it's exactly the same combinations of blue but you will spade it out okay you don't color it all in you spade it like what I do in the video now um, I color in just a few area and then I go in with the true blue just just outside the edge I'm not going in all the way in just outside the edge you try to keep the inside as light as possible um, and as you can see I leave a little bit of white uh, area at the top and the bottom as well and around <laughs> around the area and I just add it in just like any uh, place that you already add in the the electric blue at the start just add in a little bit you can add a little bit in the bottom or the, at the top and then you go in with the light aqua because you want to have a variety of colors very very nice colors I love this light aqua color so much and now you're going with the sky blue light try to blend it all out together but as you can see I'll, I'll leave some area inside is white because I want I will show you what I do next and why did didn't I you know color it all in so now I go in with the light umber and the light umber uh, the reason why I go in with the light umber is the you know the the wood thing to block the bottle uh, I want to do it kind of wood looking and it's, gr uh, it's brown color so this guy I'm doing adding a little bit of brown and you know I blend it out with the cream because I don't want it too dark it will trick your eyes to think that the object is clear and you can see through it but because it's a thick it's a thick glass so you can see a certain part of it but not all of it so I think I really really like like you know I think I did a quite an okay job with you know how you do the, the clear object like this and uh, I hope this this method you can use it with, with other stuff as well I think you can practice this method uh, with um, I think it's called Magical Dawn um, Hannah Cousin Hannah Cousin books have a lot of portals and stuff and magical portal you can absolutely practice this method and you know it's really really fun to see all the pieces come together and um, you know just yeah, it's just magical it just look really really fun um, and yeah you go uh, the rest is just you know just follow me um, with the color scheme I just add in um, for the insides at the back of the, the bottleneck um, yeah 
so it's nothing fancy but it's really really good tip and trick uh, for coloring and now let's go the wood the wooden yep <laughs> Um, so I go in with the cream first as a base as you know if you follow my tutorial and colors along I always always do base color either with Prisma colors and or polygrammer I always do base color um, and now you go in with the light amber and I will do um, I don't know how to explain this but I you know like how um, is go into the bottle and because it's it's snap it's not snap uh, it's go through the bottle so obviously it have a lot of pressures at the middle part where the neck the bottle neck the, the bottle neck hold hold the wooden piece right so what I think my imagination is it's gonna have a lot of crack of the wood thing gonna have a lot of crack and stuff at the top scene is make the the pressures in the middle so we're gonna do like how it like the, the effect that I gonna say so you do a lot of stroke at the top you can do long stroke short stroke make sure you do the the top is quite thick and go thin to the bottom and also you can do like a few um, wood eyes I think it's called wood eyes um, you know just a wood pattern around it you can do a lot you can do a little I think I I just don't do too much because it's gonna do um, too busy uh, but if you want to do a lot then you can do the the most easy way you can do it is just color it in kind of gradient from the green to the light umber and the dark you know and then you can use a fine liner to add in in the wood grain and it would look absolutely perfect and nice as well and it's really really quick but I just want to show you a different way um, how you do and as you can see I uh, after I go in with the dark amber the dark amber um, around I just like gradually make it a bit darker I use the same dark amber just to add in the the wood eyes around and a few uh, wood grain very very simple and it's look kind of like a mess now but don't worry it will look eventually it will look better once we add all the colors and I just try to blend it out with uh, uh, the cream the cream colors just try to blend it out at the start we do really really light for the base but um, we're adding a little bit of brushes and now you go in with the uh, the black the black is really good for shadow and when you add it in like this you know you just enhance the crack a little bit um, make it look like it crack deeper like a lot of crack look like it's have a uh, like a deeper crack a bigger crack and it will look really really nice I think um, like I say in a lot of my videos I say um, a lot of people are scared of uh, you know just do just use black colors in the coloring um, obviously it makes sense um, seeing you know uh, it's really really a dark color but I think if you use it in moderations it will bring really really nice effect for your coloring page and earlier I add in a golden rod because I want it to have a little orange chi looking wood but you don't have to add in the, the that color it's not really necessary I just think it's adding a nice um, variety of colors in and you just a lot of blending make sure around the area where the wood meet the uh, the bottleneck um, you make you make it quite dark you know just to add in a lot of shadow there like seeing the sunlight shine from above and all around um, make sure you add in the shadow there so it doesn't look flat it doesn't look like it's floating um, on on the bottle and for the top bit I'll just do similar I just add in the 
the green base and then I go in with the light amber I go um, I leave a little ring the light ring around I just don't color it in I just want it to make um, just to leave it light color and um, I think it's a little bit you know flat so I go in with the deco yellow and just add it in a little bit make just to bring out uh, a little bit more yellow um, and I go back in with the green colors just to burnishing it down and make it a bit lighter and then I go in with the dark umber and you know it just just add in just on the edge of the the top bit and yeah just around the edge and on the sides a little bit and then I go in with the black you see I, I draw the little eyes um, just a little dot and then adding uh, the round area outside a dot and a circle and then a few uh, stroke and then you can use the green you see very very interesting because the green will smudge the black lines a little bit and it will um, naturally like re create a good grain for you without you have to draw anything and then I go in with the Stedler Dry Plus Fileliner, the dark brown uh, they don't really have the color name so I'm not really sure uh, what is the color names I just use the dark brows that I have and I just use a, a few dot 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 just to add in texture for the wood and then for the, the inside of the bottle um, just exactly the same I go in with the light amber first and then I go in with the green just to blend the light umbers out and then you're going with the dark umber add in just a lot around um, you know again the, the bottleneck meat the wood and uh, I also do some stroke as well short one long one thick one thin one um, just you know add in a lot of variety just to make it natural as much as possible and of course you have to go in with the black uh, don't please don't press the black too much uh, you have to go in with sort of like a medium light pressures um, make it real it light but not too light so make like a cool shadow for it and yeah and now I go in with the espresso uh, it's the espresso is good because it's mm, it dark but it's not too dark and I just enhance a few area just adding some stroke just to make it look like it's showing through a little bit more um, yeah now I I'm meeting my struggle as I adding the highlight for the border to make it look like it clear and I have so much trouble with this because of the Prismacolor build of the wax on top um, so my gel pen cannot go on very smoothly uh, especially when I do a big area like this like when you do, when you do small area and just dot it's work fine but when you do big area that's when you know that uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess up this page like right near the end yeah so I just use this gel pen to add in a small area like around the neck the border neck just add in on the sides on top and the bottom and like a little bit in the middle don't add too much <laughs> don't add too thick and just around the the no, just around the, the neck as well on the both side and a little bit in the middle um, I make it like a curls there just to, to give the impressions uh, that what the border is round and it's you know it's 3d and I have so much trouble making like a big long lines so i decided i will go in with the um, acrylic the white acrylic and i just add it in uh, instead you know just struggling yeah and uh, at the bottom as well i just gonna add in the bottom <laughs> give have to like activate my gel pen because uh, it's the wax build up a lot at the tip yeah so I just add the light at the bottom of this uh, the bottle 
<laughs> and uh, if you have a trouble like me uh, uh, after you add in the acrylic because sometimes uh, I think my acrylic is quite cheap acrylic so it's not showing the white very white but because the acrylic create a lot of tooth for the white gel pen to grab on so I I finally can put a little bit of gel pens on and make the, um, uh, the shines a little bit pop more pop and it actually like create a quite interesting effect it look like it's shiny but it's not too shiny and I kind of really like it and so this is how it is um, I think I done for now but then I was like uh, it look a little bit empty so I decided I'm gonna add it in a simple background and I will show you um, I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do at the start but you know for me when in doubt I will use salt pastel that's the easiest way so uh, at the start I struggling a little bit with the background because I'm not really sure what colors I want to do I just thought oh maybe I do like a few of uh, blue and green and you know um, maybe mix it all in together and maybe a little bit yellow and just like a simple um blurry looking uh you know just a simple soft pastel just to add in a little bit around the bottle and make it stand out from the white um but you know it's not really working and i don't really like it that much um it doesn't mean you know like when I do videos like this and uh, I'm very thankful for all the compliments that I got but uh, as you can see I ha I'm, I have flaws too I'm not I'm not a perfect uh, coloring or an artist so I will eventually have mistake and you know um, in this time you you just have to keep trying and you know just uh, I don't really think that look bad it just doesn't look really nice in my eyes and i think uh, i leave because my hand leaves uh, quite a bit of oil on the page so when the soft pastel rub on is it leaves a little bit of hand print so um i decide oh maybe i just do all blue now and i add more blue to the background uh, i just want to add more blue uh, maybe just cover everything with blue then it will look a little bit better uh, in the camera, I don't think it's so not too bad, but in real life, it does look really, really bad. As you can see, the the oil, the the fingerprint or the palm print, is leave quite a big mark there, and just her uh, bothering me so much. Um, yeah. Um. So I just, I just uh playing around with the background. So I decide, uh, no, the blue wasn't working for me. I don't really like it, so I decide. I just add in a green for the bottom only for half of the bottom just to make it look like oh maybe there is a, a grass there you know a grass there just a normal, like a normal green uh, salt pastel uh, I use a mongyo salt pastel one so that doesn't have a name but yeah any green will do I use a middle green uh, sorry that the picture is kind of out of frame a little bit um, but I didn't do anything uh, very uh, extra <laughs> I just add in the normal green and then now I go in with um, like a darker blue for the sky more like uh, like a sky blue and I will just add it all in for the sky. I will just rub it all in. Um, and it look a little bit better now. Uh, I think it is great. It's, it kind of cover the print a little bit. The hand print. And then I will do a simple cloud background. Uh, as you uh, already watched my cloud tutorial. Uh, background um, I use very very similar technique but this one I want the bottle stand now so I didn't do um, you know enhance the 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 cloud background with the pencil I just use soft pastel and the eraser I draw in a few clouds and then just erase it you know a little bit make um, 
make it white, make the cloud white. Yeah, it's very very simple effect, but I think it works absolutely fine and really really nice. Uh, when you you know want you just adding in the final touch for your piece, but don't want to you know to add in too much and spend too much time. Um, so this method is really really good why it's not really hard I'm pretty sure even if you are a beginner you still can also do it so yeah just go in quite light hand I don't really rub very very hard because the soft pastel is really easy to rub off anyway and don't worry that it look a mess now I will show you how you can um, you know make it look a little bit nicer and clean it up a little bit lighter as you can see I just go the best way to do is go on the side just um, horizontal yeah horizontal way and just rub after you rub like following the line that you already draw with the electric eraser I just choose electric eraser because the tip is of the eraser is smaller so it's easier to control but you don't have to you can just use a normal eraser and you go a few strokes um, just the lines on the side and make sure you have a you you just brush with the you know whatever brush don't use your hand um, because you might smudge the soft pastel on your work and as you can see I just go in back in with the blue that the, the cotton uh, makeup the makeup sponge that I using that already have like a leftover blue pastel in there so I just use it add in you know where the white area meets with the blue background and you just soften that look a little bit you know just doesn't it look it doesn't look like you rub off but you left the area like white like that and it make it look really really natural and it's really really nice um, it clean up a lot of mess as well and here I just draw in some bird and I think we are done yes we are done with this page now and um, thank you so much for joining me today uh, I will a lot of people um, I forgot to say a lot of people ask me like what I used after doing the soft pastel to not let it um, rub off I use this J Burrow work fixative spray and make sure you pick the one that is a matte finish and not a glossy one because it with the matte finish after you spray and let it dry you still can uh, go back on with pencils and you know stop if you do the gloss one you cannot go back in with pencil and will make your job harder if you want to fix something on your page yeah so I just spray it and um, let it dry for like 10 15 minutes and I'm done with this page I hope you enjoy spending time with me today uh, I hope you find this video helpful and let me know that um, have you done this page before and uh, is your elephant the same if you like my video please thumb up subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Uh, in the meantime, take care and happy coloring. Bye.